All right, so we're here to take another look at my pedal board setup that I'm going to be using for the upcoming Nine Inch Nails tribute show. And uh, just to kind of run through the setup for it, so this is going to be for the song Piggy, which is going to be the second track. I've got my Gibson Les Paul that's running into the front of the pedal board right here. First thing that it's running into is the Plethora X5 for the compressor and octaver in this case, and then it's running into the uh, synth SY200, and within the loop of that, I have the HX Stomp, which is then going to the volume pedal, then returning to the SY200 FX loop, and then returning into the uh, Plethora X5 before finally getting back to the HX Stomp. Now, that all sounds crazy, but I promise there's a reason for it, and this song really gets to uh, kind of show off why I do all that stuff. So the purpose of the volume pedal being over here is that I can uh, add or drop out my regular guitar sound and uh, leave the synth sound unaffected, and then I use this controller over here to uh, actually control the, uh, the synth sound. And, how loud or soft that can be and can actually mix both of those in real time. So I really just kind of need three different sounds for this song, I think. I need a bass sound uh, that I can play over the verse. I wanted to have a uh, kind of very special effects noise kind of thing that I could do over the chorus, uh, second chorus in particular and then uh, something that I could jam along with the piano player for the outro of the song. So I've got that set up in the snapshots. The mini baby controls me going back and forth between snapshot mode and stomp mode. You'll notice that uh, when I hold that down, the HX stomp changes. That's uh, through MIDI commands that I have programmed with it. So I'll, I'll probably cover those at some point. So my first snapshot here is going to be the bass sound. So I've got the compressor and the octaver. Uh, octaver is not doing a ton on this because then I've also got down here the first block is the bass octaver with tone normal octave. It's pretty basic. I've got it boosted up a little bit and then I've even got a uh, bass amp that I'm using here like bass and uh, bass cab as well. So not even using a guitar amp on this demo right here. So my first sound is gonna be like the. And the sound that you're hearing is uh, my head rush FRFR cab uh, that I'm just using to practice here at my house. So again, that. I'll be playing along with the bass player too. So that's the first sound, and then when the second uh, chorus comes around, I, I really thought I was gonna have a hard time finding this sound, but within the special effects uh, category of the synth pedal, I was able to pull this one up pretty quick. So go to that, and you'll notice the delay comes on. Uh, so that's with the guitar sound, I need the synth up on this. And notice when I go from snapshot one to snapshot two that the uh, the send uh, effects loop left is not engaged at all. So even though the reverb is on down here, it's not getting patched through at all to that. So when I click that, it comes on. see which variation that is. It's just noise variation number one right there on the special effects. So I can mix in the guitar signal if I wanted to. We pull that out so it's more. It's a very light delay on that. I can probably bring that up a little bit, so I'll switch to edit, hit that delay, bring up the effects level a bit more. I don't think I need more feedback or time, I just want more of it. I 
That's cool. And I can actually control the speed of that with this tap tempo out here. But it's a slow song, so I'll let it talk. Single notes. And then the last thing that I wanted to try to copy is going to be on the uh, third snapshot here. So when I go to this, I want to pull this completely out. And the bass stuff is still off. This other patch, the res synth, wave four, filter at 41%, decay at 65, mix at 65. That's what I'm kind of getting for this. It doesn't really have anything that'll let me. Um, like, play like a piano or emulate a piano or anything that powerful, but I like the sound of this. So yeah, I'm not using the synth sound because it's all special effects wise in this setting. So I've got this whole... And notice when I go to this snapshot, the flanger comes on. See that? The octaver goes off, the flanger goes on. That's all through MIDI commands in the command center. Just to do a quick kind of view of what the command center looks like. Let me see if I can get a little closer in on this. I think that's the best that I can do with this. So we hit these two buttons here to bring up command center with this button. And on pretty much all of my instant patches here, I've got the first one set to uh, the PC or the program change or basically what preset you're telling the synth SY200 to go to. And the next one is going to be what tells the plethora uh, which one it's going to go to. And that leaves me four to decide what I want to do with these. So the reverb is getting left on uh, throughout there, but then I can use these uh, MIDI CC commands uh, to... Uh, Control change is what they are. Control change commands to set up uh, which ones I want. Like one, CC 102 is this button. 103 is this. 104, 105, 106. And I just have those memorized. Uh, and there's plenty of good resource, uh, resources out there that will be able to help, with, uh, help you out with that too. All right. And you can set them up to be on or off for each of those presets there. So again, that's all snapshots through the HX Stomp. So let's see. Well, I did that while I was still kind of zoomed in there. Let's see. Back to this one more time. Snapshot one, then two, three. Yeah, one has the delay and the flanger off. That just has the flanger and that has the octopus off. So, again, uh, thanks everybody for checking out the pedal board and everything. I'll uh, do a few more videos on some of the settings and things that I'll be using for the show. If anybody has any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks. <laughs>